Hello everybody, we have another clean water systems instructional video for you today. Today we're going to show you how to change your seal kit and clean up your 5900 series filter valve. So uh, if your valve is leaking between backwashes uh, to rain, drain or rinse, it doesn't stop and go, when it goes into service you're, it's still uh, leaking out your drain line, chances are you're going to need to uh, put a new seal kit in there. Uh, we do sell these seal kits. There's uh, seal and spacer kits they're called. So uh, if you have this problem before you start, go ahead and give us a call and order one of these. And let's get started. So you can definitely do this with the unit still installed to the tank. Uh, as a matter of fact, we recommend you do that so you don't have to unthread everything. Um, so the first thing you do is there's two little tabs on the helmet here in the front and in the back. And you just slightly pull those aside and that helmet piece will pop off. Now we don't have this hooked up to the, the water, water source today for our demo, but if you were hooked up to your water source, the first thing you would definitely want to do is make sure you either put your system in to backwash to vent the system or close your inlet and open a faucet and vent the pressure out of your tank. Once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and put your system into bypass mode, which means that your water pressure, if you still had your pressure onto the house, would bypass here, go here, it wouldn't be in the valve. Again, make sure you get this uh, pressure vented off, otherwise um, you're going to end up getting a shower, free shower when you pull the head off of this. Okay, so basically to get to the seal kit, what we have to do is we have to remove the control part of this uh, valve from the valve body itself. So to do that, you're going to need a quarter inch and a 5 16 ball driver or valve uh, socket driver, or you can use just a flat tip screwdriver on these. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this uh, center piston screw here and the two black screws that hold this shelf in. Okay, so we have the piston screw removed, the two black screws. We'll go ahead and remove the shelf. The next thing we're going to want to do is remove these two screws right here. This actually holds this whole control unit to the valve body. Now that we have both screws removed here, we're going to go ahead and remove this cover or this uh, valve body. Okay, the next uh, thing we're going to do is remove these three screws here, and this will pull the valve body assembly out from the seals. Okay, now that we have those three screws removed, we'll go ahead and simply pull this up. This is what your valve stem looks like. You want to clean this up really well and you want to make sure there's no deep linear scratches in these surfaces. If there are, you're going to want to go ahead and then replace this assembly. We do sell these as well. You can contact us for that. Uh, but otherwise, just kind of wipe it down with IPA or whatever you have around handy and clean that all up. And then remove the stem and seal stack. These will be rubber spacers in between the seals. I'm going to go ahead and pull all those out. Now you'll notice your last spacer that comes out of there has these little feet on them. And this has to be oriented just correctly down inside the cavity here. Okay, I want to show you here the little area right there. That's where those teeth fit. So you have to kind of index that thing and make sure when that seal goes back in, it drops down in there. So we've got our valve all cleaned out here, all wiped out. We're going to go ahead and put our new seal and spacer kit in. Again, there's a stack of these spacers and a rubber seal in between each stack. So remember again, this first one, it's the only one that has these ears sticking up out of it. We're going to go ahead and put that down in with these ears facing forward. And the idea here is, is you can kind of orient it until it drops in. You shouldn't be able to turn it after it drops in. And then make sure you put some silicone lube on these uh, seals on each one. And just stack them in there. Rubber seal to... Just put them in one at a time and make sure you, they're, they're going all the way down.
and when you're all done your seal stack should have just a little bit it should be recessed down in there just a little bit um, if you're up flusher that means that first thing is not in there all the way and it's cocked and you'll know that right away when you go to start it up because it'll leak okay now we've got this all cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and gently slide this down through and we're going to install the three screws I also want to mention as you're tightening these screws down you want to tighten them kind of in a pattern and you don't want to over tighten them because these valves are plastic and you can't crack the valve body okay we've got the three screws in um, I always like to take and kind of run the, the valve up and down manually just to make sure everything's smooth and we'll go ahead and install the control valve back on now one thing I want to mention here is you see there's a little tab here on this side you notice that there's a thick side here and a thin side here so you want to make sure the thin side is over here on this tab side and you also need to slide this up and down to where it will match this so you can kind of push that down in there until that slides in So now you can see the narrow side's over here, the wider side is over here. This is down in here and it's in. Now we're going to go ahead and install these two screws right here that hold the valve body down to the valve. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this screw back in and our black shelf with our two black screws back in. Okay, we replace our two little black screws. Our shelf is back in. So we'll go ahead, open the inlet valve slowly. Go ahead and run it through its backwash cycles to make sure you have no external leaks and everything looks like it's functioning properly. And go ahead and uh, open it back up and continue use and service. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.